Hello and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. We are back at the tea house because I went and wanted to report a bug regarding this um, quest marker here. And instead I stumbled upon an information that instead we should go through all the books because we might have missed something. And guess which book is left. You feel its connection, its longing to be opened, to share its secrets. You open the book to the first page, with its shifting glyphs and strange whispers. Turn to the saving Okay, turn to the next one. dart beneath your eyes warping and twisting your head throbs but you almost understand come on i believe we can do this shadows. They pull at you, dragging you closer. Branding your mind with strange runes. You see time rewritten, fate undone, your future thrumming with power. The book snaps closed. You've seen too much. What profane knowledge is now seared inside of you you should never have known. Another inspiration, and now the drone should be updated. Find a way to finish Necromancer Fay. We managed to read most of the book, absorbing some of its necromantic power, but it snaps shut before we could finish it. There must be a way to reach the end. And so, wait. It shows it, yep, so I guess this is it. Can I. Hmm. It's a shame, but I cannot really talk. Can you try reading it again? Elminster's anyway. not around, so it might as well. All's well that ends. Clues I have three inspirations. Okay. Keep your distance now. You've seen much of the book, but its most powerful secrets are guarded by indecipherable glyphs. Without a key, they may be locked away forever. Without a key. So that means there should be a key here? Oh, that's oh yeah, the keys for this place. There's still that there here. Hmm. 
No, we are supposed to go. Hmm. On this floor? Wait. This is a twist on the traditional dwarven eaglach stew. Ah, <laughs> never mind. I don't remember what I have. No, 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 don't start it. Can you move away a little bit? No. Wait. Lauren. Ah, yeah, he's still alive. Um. Wait. Oh. Oh, oh my head. Oh. The hag is dead. What? How? How am I still breathing? I have the bite. What's the bite exactly? I wouldn't wish it on anyone. Your insides end up on the outside. Petrification stops the spread. I was on death's door. No, I feel... I feel great! Oh! Examine her for signs of Ladugar's bite? Who's Ladugar? Hmm. Not only is the disease gone, you see it's left no scars. An impossibility for the bite. What? But that doesn't make a lick of sense. Unless... That double-crossing, filthy, lying hag! She made me sick and then trapped me in stone for kicks! How long? I'm almost impressed. That's evil, even for a hag standard. Evil don't begin to cover it! My kids were only babes when I left. The stones know how old they are now. Hopefully they've grown children. <laughs> okay, focus on the positive. At least now you'll see them again. Only because of you. I... I ain't got no way to repay you. Oh, you figure it out. You owe me a debt and I intend to collect. You won't be left wanting. You've my word. Thank you. Okay, since that wasn't me. Let's move. Wait! Oh no, it's. Uh, I thought it was the elf. Oh, she is still dead. What's hiding here? They are still dead. Let's not tell them that. I mean, they were dead to begin with. It's not like. I, I hope it's not like that I killed them. My feet can carry me. How are you doing? Is the hat gone? God, tell me she's gone. Oh, please. She's dead, you're safe. May she burn in the nine hells. The things she did. The things she made me do. Vile. Disgusting. Good gods. You. You're the one. The mind flare. I saved your life. No. You don't understand. You kill them. I saw you screaming. Covered in your own insides as that... That thing bursts out of your skull. You change. Skin ripping from your body and then you butcher. Everyone. Everyone around you. Be specific. When will this happen? I, I don't know. Of course. It could be a ten day. It could be any moment. I can't do this. You're too dangerous. I'm. I'm sorry. Yeah, go away. Okay. 
Maybe I'll find some. He went in there. He went ice. Yep. Okay, if we are. He's gone. But now we can safely go down a little bit. Yes. I'm thinking that maybe we left something here. Something there? Invalid target. Okay. Um. Anything else? Um, wait, let me just can. Maybe I have something here. Who was there with me? Anything of use? in here. I'm fairly sure this is the... No. No, 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 no. Um, you? Mm, yes, yes, yes. Um, wait uh, here, fellow. I'm hurt. I Please I'm stay. It sounds all... You. Well. Speak. Okay. Here you go for battle. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I believe it would be orange. Wait, what? If only I knew where to We found weapons from Mr. Work Weapons. We only need to forge one of some back from Susur Tree? What the hell is a Susur Tree? Tree, sorry. No time to rest? Can you read it? Um. Goblin drawing. The prints. Letter to Kaga. Okay, give me a minute, I'll be right back. Okay, so. What can I do for you? I checked every nook and cranny of the tea house and I did not find anything. <laughs> so let's leave it for now. So how does someone become a vampire exactly? It's simple. Just find a vampire that will drink your blood and turn you into a vampire spawn. Their obedient puppet. In theory, the next step is to drink their blood. Once you've done that, you're free. And a true vampire. Mm, in theory. People think the biggest threat to a vampire is a cleric with a stake. 
It's not. The biggest threat to a vampire is another vampire. They're scheming, paranoid, power-hungry beasts. So why would any vampire give up control over a spawn to create a competitor? Trust me, it doesn't happen. Mm. That monster hunter we met in the swamp is looking for you, isn't he? So it would seem. Hopefully he bumps into some gnolls while stumbling around at night and that's the last we hear from him. Okay, but what was he... Why was he hunting you? Why, what did you do? I didn't do anything. I was kidnapped, just like you. It seems Casador wants me back. Who is Casador? Casador Tsar is a vampire lord in Baldur's Gate. The patriarch of his coven and a monster obsessed with power. He turned me nearly 200 years ago. I became his spawn. And he became my tormentor. You're sure Casador was behind this? It was him, I'm sure. Only he would know to send the Gur after me. It was a group of Gur that attacked me that night in Baldur's Gate. I would have died had Casador not appeared and saved me. Saved you better by turning you into a vampire slave. Well, he didn't mention the slave claws at the time. And now he sends a Gur monster hunter for me. It's a message. He's reminding me of his power. Even in the middle of nowhere he can reach me. And he wants me back. Why capture you? Why not just kill you? Maybe he wants to make an example of me. To show what happens to runaways. Or maybe he thinks death is too good for me. Well, you're safe with me. <laughs> safe? You think I'm safe? Do you know the power a vampire lord possesses? He can change shape. Turn into mist. Call walls to do his bidding. Shrug off blows like they're nothing. He could walk into our camp tonight and kill you with his bare hands. And you'd be lucky if death was the worst thing that happened to you. Can he do that? Just walk into our camp? Probably not. He has to rest in his crypt during the day. I've never known him to leave Baldur's Gate. But he has no end of lackeys. He'll send someone else in his place. We just have to be vigilant, keep our wits about us, and kill any monster hunters on sight. Hmm. What do you make of Raphael's deal? I won't lie. It's tempting. If I keep the tadpole, I risk transforming into a grotesque monster. If I lose the tadpole, Cazador has control of me, body and soul, and I return to the shadows. It's grim either way. So why not sell what's left of my soul to a devil? Better he has it than Casador. I understand the appeal. I'm glad to hear it. Whatever's coming, we need to keep our options open. Hmm. I could I thought vampires couldn't walk into a house homes without an invitation. We can't. And yet I cross the threshold like moonlight through leaves. This worm is a powerful little beast, isn't it? It sounds like you're enjoying it. <laughs> What's not to enjoy? I can walk in sunlight, trespass upon any home, manipulate minds. I'm the most powerful vampire in the realms. Granted, the looming doom is an issue, but why not enjoy the benefits while we can? <laughs> Tell me about your history. Why do you insist on exhuming the past? I was a slave. A vampire spawn. Kept by the Tsar family. Perhaps I still am. I was never able to resist their commands. 
But now, I've been conveniently lost. They won't ever control me again. Okay, so about the bite. I've already apologized. What more do you want? Unless you're looking for another nibble. Maybe later. <laughs> Maybe. But there won't be any more midnight surprises. I can promise you that. Okay, I need you in my party. Darling, I thought you'd never ask. Lead on. The level of actors is just ma really okay so let's go back to some time hideout we'll meet in the underdark be right back and so we are in the underdark again hopefully this time oh by the way let's hear him again great um hopefully this time we will make it a little bit further Fungal spores. Must be myconids nearby. The what is nearby? This will be fun. Good job, guys. Um. You don't see me. If we hit him first, mine is the advantage. No, heating up. Find a route. You can hear yourself doing it. Oh, there's two of them. Where's the second one? Oh no, he has two actions. Two turns? Oh no, there he is. I hit her? Man, just Don't get waste step. there. Be fire, baby. Oh, by the way, Careful, I bite. can you just I was thinking whether he can just keep shooting or not? Oh, that's why it didn't go down. Oh, I can also control cloud of. Sorry. Our flank, our smart. This is gonna feel good. Too heavy, and no wonder. Show me what's happening. Can I hit them both? Not a chance. That's not what I want. Why? This thing I don't understand. Even though I have... Can I get down there? Seriously. Oh. Mm. Oh, 
three roll. It's okay. Okay. Just keep losing it. <laughs> nice. And going down. Can't stay idle. No time for mercy. Unworthy grants resistance to slashing damage, grants vulnerable to flattering. Oh, unlucky you. Really unlucky. Okay, let's say let's take a short break. Okay, I'll save. Exhausted. Better find somewhere to camp soon. You're not exhausted, you just they had a rest. Short but rest. Useful. What's inside? Nothing, okay. Best be on my way. I really would like to avoid those spores if possible. Timasis, known to cause confusion. Let's not get too close. And let's not get close to them. Broken bones. Must have fallen. Oh no 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 no. Wait. Okay, this is this path is um This leads nowhere. So the best thing you can do is just go. Oh. No, 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 I want this. Aha! Go away. You really find a way forward. <laughs> that wasn't a bullet, was it? A what? Damask and torch stalks, kind of a combination. Get confused by one, blown up by Can you walk on those? Yes.
My grenade? Oh. Hi. You were swallowed by a chorus of turbulent music. Through one creature sing many voices. The harmony of an entire collective. Sovereign, she has come. She is here. The choir fades. A single melody rises above the others. Brassy and commanding. I am Sovereign. You see a vision. Your lifeless body wrapped in fungal tendrils. The Sovereign is threatening you. State your purpose. Um... Just to be safe, in case we die. Mm. I really want to do this. Hum a peaceful tune in harmony with the sovereign. Detect a distinct quiver in every note. These creatures have experienced recent tragedy. I sense your fear. Now focus on your parasite and connect with the sovereign. The parasite is quiet. You feel no bond with the creature. Hmm. I sense your fear. I've come to aid. Fungal roots weave through your mind, seeking your true intent. Then the Sovereign drones a new melody. Cautious, but welcoming. Descend to me. Let us speak in flesh. The persistent music coaxes you forward. The Sovereign expects you. Wait, so I'm supposed to follow you or... No. Okay, okay. I did not expect the uh, place of... Mushroom people. No! God damn, why? Why did he start running? The corpse twitches in response to the spell. And awaits your first question. Hmm. How did you like die? Its living counterparts, the corpse speaks in your mind. Burn. Great wars. Hurt. 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 The great wolves. What do they want here? No. Death. No death. What was your role in the circle? To grow. To know. To be one with the circle. What was li life like? In the circle. Floating, knowing, seeing, hearing, all together, never apart. Who are you? Sprout. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. What creatures can have those mushroom people really? Oh. running away from me okay that's interesting um yes he is running away from me interesting what the hell ah a visitor 
You're a welcome sight, but let us observe the customs of the locals. The scholar's brow tenses. His voice spills into your skull, the spores connecting mind to mind. Blurg, proud member of the Society of Brilliance at your service. <laughs> Perhaps not. Mm, your mind is far more complex than that of the fungi. I never heard of the of the society of brilliance. Understandable. We are small in number and rarely stay in one place for long. My colleagues and I are working to improve conditions in the Underdark. This need not be such a dire, hostile place. It's curious to find a surface dweller here. What has brought you down so deep? Honestly, I can't have got lost. A common phenomenon in the Underdark, I'm afraid. Could I ask what you were searching for to begin with? Explain it. You were infected by an illicit tadpole. It's a miracle you're still intact. You must be worried sick, but have no fear. I have a friend who may be able to assist. Omelium! I hope this is important, Blurg. My Zerkwood samples need constant attention. It is. This adventurer has an illithid tadpole inside her head, but she hasn't turned. No ceramorphosis? That's impossible, but intriguing. Up. Are you looking to have it extracted? Um, an, uh, an elephant is your friend. How is that possible? I have broken free from the Elder Brain's yoke. I no longer serve the grand design. I ask that you refrain from violence. While I respect that your opinion of my kind may not change. What is the Grand Design? A collective quest to eliminate the Gith and enslave all other humanoids. If that settles matters for the time being, would you like a diagnosis? Open your mind to me. Let us see what lurks within. Okay. As the Melowan's mind pierces yours, the tadpole pulses with power. It feels ten times its size. Alive. Awake. Almost smug. This is most unusual. The incubation period should be complete, as should your transformation. But the lava is infused with strange magic. It appears to be in some form of stasis. What happens if the stasis goes away? I can only theorize, but I suspect your transformation would be both agonizing and instantaneous. I thought it was always agonizing, Amelium. Well, yes, but that wasn't my point. Can you extract it? No. It appears to be shielded from physical and magical influence. And even without the shield, the extraction would involve severe cranial trauma. Hmm. That doesn't sound ideal. It is not ideal. The process would surely kill you. Oh. Okay. But not to worry. Should you transform, I will happily perform a new examination. Tell him about the ship. A nautiloid? Fascinating. I have never set foot on one myself. They were our warships during the greatest eras of the Illithid Empire. We ruled the entire astral plane from their decks. The design was lost when the Gith rebelled and ended our dominion. 
Hmm. Thank you. Of the information. Course. I am sorry I cannot assist you in its removal. But I have an idea. Oh, perhaps I should start taking notes. There may be a way to bypass that stasis. There are many alchemical substances that can influence the mind. Bypass? Wait, isn't this stasis why the Talpo hasn't killed me yet? I do not intend to shatter its protection. I need only bypass the interference that prevents me from communicating with the lava. Bypass, what kind of alchemy are we talking about? A tincture distilled from a collection of rare mushrooms. They have subtle psionic influence. I would require a fresh ton of madness and timusk spores. But be warned, in their natural state, both of these mushrooms can be quite dangerous. Timusks cause confusion in those that approach them. The tongue is self-explanatory. Lovely. So where do I find those? The Underdark, of course. Thanks. Although they are quite rare. And their discovery perilous. Hmm. I imagine Lenore would have them in her possession. She served Mistra as a cleric. Where does this Lenore live? The southwest when I last saw her. Although her tower does have a tendency to move. Okay. Um, why would a cleric have a bunch of dangerous mushrooms? She is quite fond of her garden. Lenore has always been a lonely sort. Uh, nature was her only companion. I offered her the chance to join the society, but she refused. Her experiments on Susa Bark took priority. Susa Bark. We need it. Okay, all right, I'll come back when I find the mushrooms. May your travels be safe and swift. The trader has no problem with you inspecting these goods, so long as you're willing to pay for them. Oh, you're a trader. Great. We have uh, boots of genial, genial striding. Uh, unimpeded but difficult terrain. Yep. Circuit of blessing, blasting. The baneful. What is that? A short sword. Sure. The life bringer. Life charger. When they were against lightning charges, are they also going to fit a party? Yeah. Well, I don't need that. Magic missile. Hmm. That's very nice indeed. I like books. Okay, now let's see. Bloodstone, Onyx, Agate, Malachite, Bumble Thingy, this. I somehow I cannot put myself to selling a funky armor. It's not mine. Why would I sell it? Just enough? No. Whoa, whoa. Thank you. Scroll of Dimension Door. To purchase of up to one adjacent ally to a place you can see. Hmm, interesting. Go for forwarding. Fireball! Wall of Fire. Stone Skin. Ooh. That's a nice thing. Heal Giant Finger. Hmm. Makes sense. Okay. Can I. Who carries all this? <laughs> Bottle, grease bottle is okay. 
this. I have one lit torch and I think that's plenty enough. Okay, is that all? I'll stick to this right now. Just trying to get rid of the things. Uh -huh. This was better. That I don't need. And some silver. Oh, and the porter stuff. Okay, that's great. Um, I still have lots of stuff. I really like healing, <laughs> healing myself when I heal. Whenever I heal others, I am. I am the healer right now. Um, would you like the circlet or the scorching ray? This one doesn't give you anything, right? Yeah. And also... That's for you, right? Oh, no, this is, this is short sword, so maybe it's for me. Better? Boots of striding is not an armor, so it should be fine. Okay. So that's our equipment settled. Oh, oh, he's dead. Have a lot on my mind. And, well, in it. The corpse does not respond. She looks so sad each time it doesn't work. Oh, Fungus and mold glaze the grotesque creature's face and body. A voice drifts into your mind as you gaze upon the misshapen servant. Leave this one. Come to me. We must speak. Okay, so they don't have the consciousness of their own. I... Hi. Something's on my mind. Want master back? He treats me good now. Doesn't kick me anymore. Okay. There was someone here. I swear there was someone here. Can we go through? No. Oh, there he is. Seems the shrooms are letting in more people every day. You see a fella on his own on your way in. Dwarf. Balin's his name. Can you describe him? Bald. Blue tunic. Dumb as a stick. Hmm. No. Haven't seen him. Right. Never mind. Is he to you? My useless husband. Sent him for an errand. It's no surprise he's made a mess of it. I could look for him for a price. Please. I know better than to promise coin to a stranger. He'll find his own way out, or he won't. I'll wait a little longer. What a bleeding waste it'll be to come all the way down here for nothing. Okay. Oh, it's you. Fleshwalker, tongue-talker, far you've come, reach into memory, tell me of home. Fill your heart with memories of your most treasured places. It reveals its own home in reply. A humid cove filled with decaying myconid corpses. Dwega destroyed my people. I am a sovereign with no circle. 
I do not belong here. I am not welcomed here. Okay, what's happening? Hmm. Okay, and I think I'm gonna spot here, so for now... Let's check him out first, this is so cute! Seek me. Seek the Sovereign. Wait, did, na did I not... The dead. That's interesting. I grow among them, yet I am not of them. So you are different, Sovereign. Not the one we are supposed to meet with. As I understand. Um. Okay, okay, before we venture any further, I'm gonna spot here. So for now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye!